You ready? This is only the third time Alta Eng is getting vaccinated. She doesn't remember ever getting the flu. I always thought that I have a pretty good immune system, uh, but I've seen how the flu has affected the neighborhood and my friends and family this season. Eng's luck could have something to do with the year she was born. The latest numbers show so far this flu season is not too different from the last and not as bad as two years ago. But they also show how some age groups are more likely to get sick than others. They might be more susceptible uh, during specific years if one type of virus is, is circulating. This demographer worked with infectious disease experts at McMaster University to track what's called antigenic imprinting. The idea that your exposure to different flu strains as a baby can build antibodies that make you resistant to the same strain in future years. Using flu data, their study found Canadians born during the deadly Hong Kong pandemic, which began during the late 60s, were more resistant to the flu strains of the past two seasons. As you will get other infections later in life, even if it's with different virus, um, you will most likely uh, boost your first antibody, the first antibodies that you met er earlier in life. Knowing which age group will be vulnerable to the flu could be important for planning during epidemics. Our hospitals in Canada are typically above 100% capacity. This infectious disease specialist says the relationship between age and the flu is important, but there are multiple factors that influence who's most at risk. Their vaccination rate, uh, the population, how sort of immune is that population. The relative humidity in the room is actually a big player in terms of influenza transmission. Mm -hmm. And so all of that stuff is, is playing into the epidemiology, which is why it's so hard for us to predict what's going on. As for Alta Eng, she's not taking any more chances. Vicodopia, CBC News, Toronto.